Deep in the heart of the Scottish Highlands, where the North Sea caresses the rugged cliffs of Easter Ross, lies the remnants of a fortress steeped in legend and lore, Castle Cadball. Its story, lost in the mists of time, is one that blends the harsh realities of medieval Scotland with the eerie whispers of the supernatural. In the olden days, the east coast of Scotland was dotted with fortresses, standing like vigilant sentinels. Among these, Castle Cadball was unique, enshrouded in an otherworldly spell. It was said that within its walls, no person could ever die. This might sound like a blessing, but for the inhabitants of Cadball, it was a curse in disguise. The castle, overlooking the broad ocean towards Norway, was a silent witness to many a tale of valour and sorrow. Its history was intertwined with the Norse invasions and the fierce clan battles that shaped the Scottish Highlands. The heart of Castle Cadball's legend lies with Lady May, a figure whose tale is as tragic as it is eerie. Centuries ago, she lived within the fortress, suffering from a mysterious illness that left her longing for the release of death. Yet, the spell of Cadball denied her this release. Her days were filled with pain and yearning, a shadow of life that stretched endlessly. The Lady May, a maiden of unparalleled beauty and grace, was adored by her people and sought after by many suitors, but her heart was plagued by a suffering that no medicine could cure. Amidst the cold stones of Catball, Lady May's heart found warmth in a forbidden love. She fell for Hugh Monroe, a young man from a rival clan. Their love was a secret flame, burning bright in the darkness of feudal politics and clan rivalries. But their love story was doomed from the start, entangled in the complex web of medieval Scotland's clan disputes. Their clandestine meetings under the alder trees were their only respite in a world ruled by familial duties and clan loyalties. One night, under the shadowy boughs of the alder trees, Lady May and Hugh Monroe met for what would be the last time. Their clandestine meeting was interrupted by the arrival of Macrae, a suitor favoured by May's father. A deadly confrontation ensued, ending with Monroe's tragic death and Macrae's severe injury. This event marked the beginning of the end for Lady May's already sorrowful existence. The night air was filled with the clash of steel and the desperate cries of forbidden love, echoing through the halls of Cadball. The death of her lover plunged Lady May into deeper despair. As years turned into decades, she remained trapped in her living hell, her body withering but unable to find the release of death. The spell of Cadball, it seemed, was unbreakable. Lady May's life became a testament to unending grief, as she watched generations come and go, all while she remained a prisoner of the spell, her once vibrant beauty fading into a ghostly pallor. Finally, after fifty long years, Lady May's prayers were answered in a most unexpected way. Her loyal maidens, driven by pity and terror, carried her out of Castle Cadball to the edge of the sea cliffs. As the cold sea air brushed her face, something miraculous happened. The spell was broken, and Lady May breathed her last, finally finding peace. It was as if the sea itself, witness to her long years of suffering, called her soul to join the eternal dance of the waves. Today, Castle Cadball stands in ruins, a mere shadow of its former glory. The tales of Lady May and the eerie spell that once held sway over its walls continue to captivate the imagination of locals and visitors alike. It's a place where history and legend intertwine, whispering secrets of love, tragedy, and the supernatural. Visitors report feeling a strange sense of melancholy among the ruins, as if the stones themselves mourn the tragic fate of Lady May. The castle, now a sanctuary for seabirds and a haven for historians and folklore enthusiasts, still holds the echoes of its past, inviting the curious to uncover its mysteries. As you walk among the ruins of Castle Cadball, you can almost hear the echoes of Lady May's sighs in the wind and feel the weight of centuries of untold stories. It's a haunting reminder of Scotland's rich and mystical past, where legends were born from the very rocks and seas that shaped this rugged land. The legend of Castle Cadball serves as a timeless reminder of the intertwined fates of love, tragedy, 
and the unexplainable mysteries that history sometimes leaves behind. For the romantic at heart, Castle Catball is a poignant reminder of the power of love and the lengths to which one would go to preserve it. For the brave, it stands as a testament to facing one's fears, challenging the unknown, and breaking free from the chains of fate. The ruins, with their stark beauty, against the backdrop of the turbulent North Sea, serve as a perfect setting for those seeking solace in tales of yore and the allure of ancient mysteries. As the winds whisper through the ruins, they seem to carry with them the voices of the past. Visitors often speak of a feeling of being watched, of soft whispers in the breeze, and of a presence that's both comforting and unnerving. It's as if Lady May and her tragic tale continue to live on, etched into the very essence of the place. A visit to Castle Cadball is more than just a walk through ruins, it's a journey into a past filled with romance, intrigue, and supernatural mysteries. Whether you're a history buff, a lover of legends, or simply someone who appreciates the beauty of a story well told, Castle Cadball offers a unique experience that connects the present to the shadows of the past.